what's up gamers welcome back to another video and today we're going to be recording a video on this new roblox game that i found actually hold up let me rephrase that we're going to be recording a video on this game that i made because it's my game no i'm not even kidding guys this is my game and i'm about to prove it in two different ways starting off with the simplest one if i just hit tab you can see my username and it has the little uh, hammer icon which Basically, uh, if the creator joins his own game, uh, right next to the username is gonna have the little hammer icon. That means, like, uh, this, hey, this person created the game. So, that's number one. And the second piece of proof is that when you go to the game's main page, uh, when you see the title of the game, it's called Rainbow Fun Obby by the me, my username. That's me. And before we click on it, I'll refresh it. F5. Refresh, refresh. The username doesn't change. And if you don't believe that, I'll manually press refresh. See? Username doesn't change. Now we'll actually press on it. And as you can see, it leads to my profile. And guys, if you want to play this game yourself, there are two ways that you can find the game to, you know, like, find this page. Uh, One, I will either just have the game linked in the description, which is the simplest way. Or you could go to my uh, Roblox profile. The link to my Roblox profile is in my channel description. And then you can go to creations, then here it is. So now that I've proven that this is actually my game, time to start playing it. So if you haven't realized already, this game is an obby game. And it's just one of those, you know, like pretty boy obby games, but you know, uh, I just, like, for my, because this is my first game, so, you know, I don't really want anything too complicated. And I haven't done anything with it in Roblox Studio. Literally everything you see in the real game right now is what has always been in the game. So if we go to settings here, I have a bit of a settings menu. Um, uh, before I started the recording, um, I did go into the settings and just muted the music, because... Uh, I'm not sure if it's copyrighted, but if it is, then I don't want to risk it. Uh, then, but here's just a button to, you know, turn shadows on and off. So right now it's off. Now they're on again. Here's a shop. Uh, it's, I guess, a coming soon shop. These, these image buttons literally don't even do anything. This is a reset stage button. So basically what you're going to do, uh, what happens is here, let's say we've gone a bit far in the stage and we've like somehow want to reset uh, our, the stage it's actually more like resetting your roblox character like as in pressing like escape r and then enter so basically if you just press it it'll restart you'll restart back to stage one uh you know or you could just fall in the void that also helps <laughs> and the spawn to the left uh pretty self-explanatory uh lets you skip a stage but I'm not going to buy one in the actual game because uh, otherwise it'll actually take away five of my Robux and I don't want that because this stage is easy as hell. And this thing up here is literally just a progress bar. Nothing too like scary or anything. Nothing too complicated. But I did make sure to add some difficult stages uh, in the game. I wouldn't say difficult but just difficult uh for people who are new because you know like like even though this is my first game like i want to like i want to try to make some money off of it so like if all the stages are very easy then uh, no one's gonna buy the skip stage so and i forgot to mention uh here i have gravity coil i literally it doesn't even work yet guys what i'm gonna say next this will take the cake i am the only one who's worked on this game not a single stud that you see was made by someone else. Everything you see, like the the building, the UI, the the image, the image UI, the, the 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 everything, literally this whole game, even the thumbnails and the description. I didn't even use AI to write it or anything. These weren't AI. Well, I mean, ugh, okay, I'll be honest. Like, like the 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 backgrounds for these images, I I used Bing's image creator. But other than that. I didn't use AI at all to make this. The only thing I used AI for was to make the thumbnails, but that's it. I didn't even use the- I didn't even, like, I didn't even AI generate the script. This was, like, this was my writing. This whole game was made by me and me only. Yeah. Guys, I'm just gonna let you know, this game is far from finished. I, 
I have so much more stuff I want to add. And I think the next thing that I'm going to add is either a, a rebirth button. So, you know, people can actually reset back to stage one with like a coin multiplier or something. Actually, wait, that reminds me. Either three things. One, the rebirth button. Two, a coin currency. Or three, I'll actually get the gravity coil to work. And honestly, I think the next thing that I'll probably do is get a coin currency because literally nothing is stopping me from actually making a coin currency. Like, like not even getting the, you know, like the, you know, like the, the those little like those little like coin icons, like 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 coin stack icons or like little rebirth icons. Because I've already uh, I've already bought a vector pack. And for anyone who doesn't know what vectors are, vectors are you know just those small little icons that like you know resemble currency or. Or just something like that or like armor or points or a game pass you see in basically every roblox simulator so i've already bought one of those really wasn't expensive so that'll probably be the next thing that i do or it'll be a rebirth system who knows oh wait wait to make it so that whenever you touch a checkpoint uh, it makes a little dring sound effect or like dring something like that or i can make it so like whenever you touch a checkpoint uh it makes a sound effect and a visual effect i know most obby games have that but so far i had to start simple and make it so that whenever you touch a checkpoint it turns red you know just have to start with the most basic stuff but if you guys do choose to go play this game yourself like please when you've played it go back to this video and comment your honest thoughts about it because i want like honest opinions like 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 tell me the like tell me the the cons and just everything that i could work on in the game because like my first game i'm trying to make it the best game possible so please if you do play the game play it all the way through and tell me the the cons please tell me all of the cons like li like literally even if it's the smallest thing like like oh hey the stage could be a little harder just tell me about it hey stage 54 could be could be a little harder or stage 54 could be a little easier because i want my first roblox game to be perfect for you guys so this stage is pretty unique this is a mirror stage so basically here it looks like you should go here but it's blocked by an imaginary wall which i definitely didn't put the transparency to zero to nope not at all so here it looks like you're about to fall in the void but basically whatever uh, is empty here is on the other side where you can't go so here it's just a pure smooth thing easy so i just found a bit of an issue with the percentage uh level uh like like right here like it should just be 55 but instead if you can see uh, it's like 55.0000001 so i'll have to fix that see so now it's 56.0001 now it's 56.9999999 okay now it's back to normal okay this is also a pretty unique stage basically uh, this red here doesn't kill you but here, there are many different ladders. Uh, you think, it looks like you can just go up any, but here, they're being blocked. You have to pick the right one. So luckily, I've basically just permanently remembered which one it is. It's this one. But personally, I think it's pretty cool just, you know, throwing in a unique stage every now and then. And here, I mean, if you want to call it unique, you can, but I wouldn't say it's that unique. Uh, like here, um, you walk on these, you're just don't jump or didn't die oh i haven't actually played my own game in a while i forgot which one it is this one this one this one this one okay good also something you may not have noticed the whole time is uh when i look uh if you look up you can see here that um that just like all these ice cream if you want to even call, like like ice cream cone shaped um checkpoints what i did was like as i like made each one i like put them in the file i like put them in individual files you know just made them all organized then basically i copy the whole ice cream cone checkpoints i literally call the whole file that then just copy it or just duplicated it from the explore from the workspace tab then just put it up there so now people can kind of get all excited about like when is the second floor coming up yeah, like just a little like psychological thing. I don't really know what to call it, but okay. Here's another mirror stage. It's literally the exact same before, but now it's different. Right here, if I just walk off right now, I'm dead. So right here, everything that's on this, that's on this, the the visible side is also on the invisible side. So right here, we have to jump. 
And now we can just go like normal. So yeah, a little fun thing, if you want to call it that. Okay, this stage is pretty, is like, I guess you can call it unique. Here, there are like some blocks here sticking out of this wall, I guess. Like snake. Let's consider it a snake. So there are, there are little blocks uh, sticking out of the snake. Pretty simple. You just go over them. And if you think of even trying to just like go here... Then, ah, uh, you can't even make that jump, but then just, like, walking along this. You can, I made sure there's, uh, an invisible wall there, so you can't do that. So you just do this, this. And it's very easy, I didn't make, I didn't make a challenging or anything. I'm just trying to make this a fun little obby game. So I didn't really want to do anything too complicated for my first game. But then my next Roblox game will be definitely a lot more my speed. But in that whole time that I've been yapping, we have officially reached... Level 100! Level 100. Compl bar completely filled. Floor 2 coming soon. And if we go all the way up here again. Also, when, also, if you stand up here, this is the highest possible point in floor 1. Look how close my heads are to the checkpoints. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, shma smash, shma smash, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And turn on notifications if you never want to miss any of my future videos. And yeah, this was... Rainbow Fun Obby, my own Roblox game. And if you guys liked me playing this game and you want to play yourself, like I said at the beginning of the video, the link to the game is in the uh, description, very top of the description. And if you think the game isn't good, then sorry you feel that way. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.